My name is Emilio Salomone, and uh, I run the ceramics program at George School. I'm a ceramic artist and uh, metal sculptor, uh, and I've been doing this since uh, 1984. I specialize now in wood-fired uh, pottery and sculpture. Five years ago, we built the kiln here at George School, which was, uh, which was huge because uh, there's not many of these kilns in the United States at the high school level. The front of the kiln is loaded up with bricks. Um, the pots are inside, we load it in, then we put the door, we brick up the door like a brick mason. The kiln starts to generate a heat on its own with the bricks, and so it just starts to consume more and more wood. All the wood for the fired kiln, which there is a lot, is gotten from around the campus here, uh, and it's all from felled trees. When a tree blows down on campus, um, rather than taking it to a, a landfill or turning it into firewood, if it's usable and the tree is in decent shape, we saw it, and, and uh, it gets turned into pieces of furniture that the students design and build. Totally sustainable, um, makes our carbon footprint very small, and then any of the pieces that we cut off at the mill while we're getting the, the wood dimension, that wood is burned in the wood fire kiln, so there's very, very little waste. I've had to throw in the wood and you wear all the protective gear, you wear like a face covering, um, gloves. Your first couple times doing it, you're gonna like knock into the kiln, you won't get it in, it won't go perfectly. I think this is my third time doing a wood kiln and I got like almost 10 in a row in. I was kind of proud of myself. We can choose how long we wanna fire. We could fire this and in the past we fired for three days. This kiln fires really well so it we can fire it and get really nice results in a 24-hour period. The wood is the fuel to create the heat, but it also imparts wood ash, which is glass, basically, on the pots. So the major difference between um, firing in an electric kiln versus a wood kiln is purely aesthetic. The, the finish uh, of the pieces, um, there's a little bit more chance element, or as I say, happy mistakes that happen. Um, but it, it teaches the students all about this, this process from start to finish, um, that in this modern world with technology, we're out here doing it without technology, so it's kind of refreshing to, to do that. One of the things uh, about the wood firing uh, kilns is you need a lot of help. I bring my students, I go pick them up and bring them over and do a couple shifts. It's, it's a real small community of ceramic artists that do wood fire. It's hard to do it on your own, so it's usually a really nice community of people that come together. This piece here uh, was made by uh, the father of one of my former students. Adam's been helping us uh, fire uh, this kiln uh, now for, I guess, going on four years uh, and he comes out and does the night shifts for us and then he he really got into start starting to make some pieces at his at his home the thing about the wood fire that like it's so interesting i guess is that you don't know what it's going to end up looking like because you don't know how much wood's going to be put in or what the glaze is going to turn out like it's a bit like opening a present yeah it's um because you never really know what your piece is going to look like of course you kind of have a general idea uh based on what glaze you put on it but um, it can still turn out very different and sometimes you get these things that you don't expect and it's a pretty nice surprise. So I made three pieces. One is a flower pot, a vase, and a bowl. When it was leather hard I put in texture with a fork and then I underglazed it with chocolate brown. To me this is more about community. It's about teaching my students how to work together, how to collaborate with other people, with other schools, and also professional artists, and then how to celebrate the work. You need to live with them a little bit, look at them, see the different complexities to the pieces. I hope to continue this uh, for many, many more years.